Hello, this is Walter Alvarez. I'm here in Berkeley with Roland Seikow, and we'd like to show you some of the features of ChronoZoom, the uh, time scale viewing uh, software that we've been working on for the last year or so. This project started with, uh, with Roland's uh, um, semester project in the big history class at Berkeley a year ago in the spring, in the spring of 2009, and it was so cool that we've been working on it together ever since. So this is ChronoZoom, and it has a series of graphical panels that let you look at, uh, at history visually. So this particular panel is uh, showing written human history back to about 3000 BC, something like that. And uh, we chose to focus on Egypt because it has a written history that goes way back. And down here across the bottom, you can see the the um, the pharaohs, the different kingdoms and dynasties and pharaohs of Egypt. And you can zoom in and you can see things, for example, like the names of the different, uh, different pharaohs. And over here, for example, you can see the dates at which the, um, the, the dynasties changed. And one of the neat things about ChronoZoom is that you can actually embed pictures in it. So here, for example, is a picture showing the three pyramids at Giza and who they belong to. And then down lower, you can see with the arrows point to the, to the pharaohs that were responsible for them. Well, if we zoom out now, we can look at some other things. For example, you can put in pictures of different sizes. For example, here is a picture of, of those three pyramids at Giza. And off to the right is a really neat thing that you can see in a granite quarry in Aswan, where the dam is. This is a, an, an obelisk that the ancient Egyptians were quarrying out of the granite. And you can see, unfortunately, how there was this uh, crack that showed up. And, um, and so they had to stop working on this one and left it there, and it's still there. And you can even see it on a... Uh, on a um, a satellite image. So for example here from Google Earth you can actually see that pyramid lying there in the uh, in the quarry. So ChronoZoom lets us um, not only see time scales and features in time but to add all sorts of other um, you know, other information. Now if you go up to the top you can see how time has, is, is divided conventionally. There's the second millennium AD, the one that we just finished a few years ago. And you can zoom in and you can see the 20th century. And zoom in further than that, you can see the decades. And zoom in and you can see the actual years. There's 2000. And if you'll notice, what we did was to stop time, uh, stop chrono zoom at the end of 2000, which seemed like a nice convenient uh, round number. So there's the month of December. And if you keep zooming on in, you can go right down to days. And in fact, if you zoom in on this, uh, this final day of the year, there's a celebration of New Year's Eve on the, at the end of the millennium. And now if we zoom out smoothly, you can see how all of this fits together into time. See how that day is receding. It's now down less than a single pixel. You can't see it any longer. And We zoom all the way back out to the 20th century and all the way back out to all of human history. Now, across the top of the ChronoZoom window in orange, are the dates and if uh, if you'll zoom that up and zoom that in a little bit Roland then people can see how the dates track along and you can see where you are at any given time and you might think it's strange that these numbers all end in one whereas off to the uh, left side they're in nice round numbers this is a problem which is technically known as the year zero problem because there isn't any year zero, and so everything is, uh, everything is off by a year. We hope we'll get that fixed. Now, the portion that we're looking at right now shows, the, um, shows various uh, events in the history of post-medieval geology, like here's the scientific revolution, and here's the Portuguese voyages of, exp of exploration in which uh, Europeans mapped the, uh, the seas of the world. 
and down here in blue is the geological revolution and shows the discovery of deep time by James Hutton and Darwin's origin of species and here a little bit further to the right is Alfred Wegener the uh, the German meteorologist who first realized that continents had been drifting unfortunately in 1929 he was um, he was uh, uh, defeated by the geologists of the time who thought that continents had always been fixed as you see up there in 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 red, but by 1965 the plate tectonic revolution began and geologists realized that Wegener had been right all the time. So there are all sorts of things that you can explore in this panel and uh, you can use your mouse and your scroll wheel. You can use the mouse to pan and the scroll wheel to zoom and we hope that you'll have lots of fun exploring this. Someday we hope to have lots more information. Right now you're sort of restricted to what we've put on here, but we hope that you'll enjoy that.